Hey, Steve, we spoke closely with those who know and work with Dr. Robert Taylor. They describe him as a leader, one that puts children first. And we also spoke with a Kathy Truitt, the state superintendent, and she selected Dr. Robert Taylor as her deputy superintendent in charge, second in command, and leading 1.6 million students. She says there's no doubt he is ready for this role. And then contract to Dr. Robert P. Taylor. Please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, nay? A new leader for Wake County Schools as the board announces Dr. Robert Taylor selected among 28 candidates and eight finalists. Having a superintendent that could balance the intelligence um, and the requirement of just having a vast wealth of knowledge and education in the state of North Carolina. Taylor brings three decades of education and leadership experience to the Wake County superintendent role, bringing him back to North Carolina from his home state of Mississippi. Mississippi's loss is definitely North Carolina's gain. State Superintendent Kathy Truitt went to Twitter with her excitement tonight. The picture showing the two during his time as deputy superintendent working side by side. I texted him last week and I said, hey, well, what, what's going on? And he said, stay tuned for next week. And today, the big job announcement made public during the school board meeting after members approved his contract. Board members saying tonight, community input helped in this decision. Parents highlighting an emphasis on character, curriculum, education, and experience. He knows that education is about students first and foremost, that it is a people-driven profession, and as such, he is a listener. And one group, the Education Justice Alliance zeroed in on equity. How do we think about equity and how do we think about properly serving the students across the board? So not just our black and brown students, not just our LGBTQ plus students, but all students in an equitable way. Dr. Taylor said in a statement that Wake County schools are at the forefront of innovative education. He welcomes this leadership opportunity and he earned his master's and doctorate degrees from Fayetteville State University. So he definitely has those deep ties to this community. He is a part of a military family married to a retired colonel and he also has three adult children. In Cary tonight, I'm Jimmy's Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.